after three wins and one draw in the league we are second but today we make our champions league day <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 16 of uh, Gunning for the Top. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have uh, games against Celtic at home in the Champions League Group C and Crystal Palace in the Premier League. So uh, this is the uh, Group C as it looks um, at the, the games that we will, teams that we will be playing. Atletico de Madrid, uh, Celtic and Estana are our uh, teams that we are competing against in this uh, uh, group and uh, first two places obviously go um, to um, the uh, knockout rounds of the Champions League third place I think goes to the Europa League and fourth place well they disappear into oblivion I think as uh, as it turns out um, I don't think that's uh, of any interest at the moment. So that's uh, how it's going to pan out. Um, we will play Celtic first, as we're going to see today. Then away, uh, home, sorry, uh, to Astana. Uh, away to Atletico Madrid. Home to Atletico Madrid. And then two away games to Celtic and finishing up with Astana. Um, we will uh, try and see those games as we work our way through um, the next uh, ensuing episodes um, uh, yes as we get down here so uh, we'll uh, the Celtic game and then I think we're going to come back for the uh, first of the Atletico games um, and then we will come back for the the next game we'll come back for is the Astana game um, which will be the concluding group match and by then we should know uh, where, what we're doing and uh, what we need in order to win uh, or qualify from the group. Uh, the uh, club vision um, is for Champions League to reach the first knockout round. So that is what we are setting out to do um, as uh, we commence our Champions League um, fun, as it were. Uh, Transfer-wise, since you were last with us, you'll see that we're still trying to bring Erlin Haaland in. Um, a little bit of a uh, sort of a Vopar really uh, we did have a deal agreed with Dortmund um, we also agreed contracts with him and everything was set to go we didn't have enough money in the bank um, pretty much what happened was um, if we go to the transfer history you will see that we have sold Kolzenak amongst the others uh, here at Kolzenak. Uh, so we were looking for a replacement for him. We found Rafael Guerrero, um, who likes to play in these back positions here on the left-hand side. Um, quite an adequate uh, replacement, I think. Um, anyway, we had a deal set up for him um, with everything all lined up, etc., uh, etc. Et and really what we should have done was delayed his deal in order to get the Haaland deal through and then... Um, we could have then finalised this deal and maybe adjusted it slightly if we needed to. Um, but as it turned out, we agreed this deal. And then, along with £500,000, which we had to pay out um, because Gabriel had passed the um, milestone of uh, 30 league games, um, we ended up <laughs> we ended up paying Valencia £500,000. Um, I think it was... Uh, hang on a minute, I'm looking at the wrong bit here. Uh, no, where are we? Oh, I can't find it anyway. Um, but we did have to pay out some money, um, which uh, took us over the edge and then didn't have enough um, to complete the deal for Harling, which was uh, a bit of an annoyance. Uh, let's go back to here, uh, see what's been happening since you last with us. The last uh, game you saw was against Manchester United in the UEFA Super Cup, first bit of silverware for the year. Um, and of course European champions in fact we European champions because we beat the Champions League winners from last season um, so after that um, I think a little bit of um, yeah hangover should we say a 1-1 draw against Sheffield United a game that we should have won 
Um, Edwin, Edward saving our blushes uh, in that one. Bournemouth then we beat 5-0. Uh, a thumping for Bournemouth. Uh, Aston Villa a 2-0 win. And then uh, in the last game, we managed to uh, just manage to get out a 1-0 win against Manchester United. So it's, uh, that's quite uh, refreshing that we've actually won two games on the trot against Manchester United um, so far this season. But uh, yeah, Willen uh, doing the business um, just into injury time in the first half. Um, so a good win for that. So that sets us quite nicely in the table. If we have a quick look, uh, Manchester City on top at the moment on 13 points, just one goal in front of us on goal difference um, with us in second place. Liverpool third on 12 points, Everton fourth also on 12 points, Chelsea fifth on 12 points. Obviously, uh, only goal difference separating all of them. Uh, Leeds are sixth on 11 points, Tottenham are seventh on 10 points and Wolves eighth on eight points. So that's where we are currently um, and uh, looking good for it. I think it's high time that we went through to our Champions League debut. And this is the team that we have selected for uh, today's game against Celtic. Donnarumma in goal, Tierney, Gabriel, Jimenez and Bellerin are in defence. Aguero and Partey are in central midfield with the Bangamang, Kolzevaski, uh, Pepe and Eduard uh, in front of them. And then on the bench we have Leno, Luis Philippe, Smith Rowe, Lacazette, Maitland Niles, Saka and Nelson. That is the bench. And this is the team that we're putting out. Um, And there we go. Pump this and say we should be winning this fairly comfortably. And then we go through to the tunnel. Both teams come in this one. Good form. How do you rate your chance ahead of kickoff? They're a good team. We're going to relish the challenge. Uh, Barkas is on a fairly length run without conceding a goal. Can your team end that run today? I hope so. Otherwise, today won't end well for us. Um, So obviously this game is being televised, so we get the obligatory extra bits, which is all very good, uh, as in new FM 21. No games played, so the table really doesn't show us a great deal. Edward, of course, um, is facing the side that he left and he starts the game off Tierney now to a bangamang a bangamang is tackled unfairly as the referee picks up Guerrero to Bellerin Bellerin looking for Pepe Pepe inside to Kolsky and Barkas is equal to that right let's sort out this because it is in need of sorting out and let's get everything in the place it should be Celtic stats Celtic formation latest score league table we're all good as it were and all we need now is some action hopefully for us Partey has picked up a yellow card Edouard. Ooh, Barkas makes a fine save from the free kick. Pepe with the corner. And headed clear. Kodolski is going to get it. And he's run it out of play. Quite sure why he ran it out of play. We have a throw in 
in defensive quarter. Bellerin with the throw in has got the ball back. It's forward to Edouard. Edouard inside to Pepe. Pepe on a run now and he's blocked shot and it's come all the way back to Gimenez, Pepe, Thomas to Kolovsky. Kolovsky, he's on a run and is he going all the way? He's been tackled in the penalty area and the referee looks to be given a penalty. He's run forward. Are we waiting for VAR now? A lot of shoving going on there and penalty review is being checked and a penalty has been given Edouard to take the penalty oh no a banger man's taking the penalty he's put that away and a banger man has picked up a yellow card I'm not quite sure why he's picked up a yellow card but he has and a banger man puts that away neatly into the corner right while we're here, let's just go into this one because I'm thinking Edward should be our number one. Hang on. All right. Just going to change those around because. going to put a bang bang in second there um, because I have actually agreed that he will um, take the penalties and um, I'll fall foul of Edouard having a bit of a hissy fit because um, he's not uh, there so we are one goal to the good as it currently stands Atletico Madrid have now scored so we're all equal Kozolski into Thomas Pepe Pushed the ball across looking for somebody. Couldn't find anybody. Gabriel now picks up the ball in defence. Forward to Thomas. Thomas to Pepe. Pepe again inside to Kolsky. Didn't find him. And they have a counter-attack right now. Ball crossed. Guerrero has headed the ball forward to a Bangamang. Bangamang to Edward. Back to a Bangamang. And a bit of a tame shot really in the end from a banger man I don't think he could get the shot away quite when he wanted to Bellerin now with the throw into Kolsky Kolsky with a cross and a headed goal I think there was a banger man again his sixth goal of the season and a lovely ball across by Kolsky Bellerin with the throw in Kolsky drilled ball across yeah picks out a banger man and wallop so we are back on top by goal difference as it stands at minute. Jimenez to Bellerin back to Jimenez Jimenez to Pepe Pepe to Edward Edward coming forward to Thomas back to Thomas rather Edward to Kolsky Kolsky to Guerrero who only manages it to hit it straight at Barkas half an hour gone and Celtic not had a shot on target uh, or not a shot let alone on target should I say and we are keeping them well at bay Gabriel to Tierney Tierney now to Thomas Thomas to Pepe who tries to curl one in and it wasn't curling on that occasion Edward with a free kick lobs the ball in nobody there comes all the way back out to Bellerin Bellerin who's gone on a bit of a run he's going to try and get a cross in here which he does a bang -a looking for his hat trick this time heads it over the top and as we go into half time bang -a -mang back to Guerra and Thomas Bellerin takes a shot and it's uh saved by Bacchus but I think it was going out to be fair and that is half time and as it stands two goals by a bang bang 17 and 27 minutes has put us in a, a reasonably good position as it currently stands and um, yeah I think outstretched hands uh, no can't do that pump fists you've played well so far 
but there's still room for improvement. So not really had a thing. Bellerin's um, complacent, so is Guerrero. And that's not good. Right, so Thomas and Abangamang are both need to be told to watch the step. We don't want any sendings off. And away we go for the second half. Long ball forward to Tierney. Well, that wasn't forward to Tierney, sorry. Tierney picking up the loose ball. Bangamang with a header down to Kowalski. Kowalski picks up Edouard. Edouard against Barkas. And Barkas puts away for a corner. Pepe with the corner. Long ball looking for Edouard. Didn't find him. Jimenez is coming out for it. And that's gone down as a clear cut chance, which I think it would do because Edouard was really clear here. There's the ball forward. Had to step over it to get it into his right foot. It was on his wrong foot. Um, and obviously that split second was enough to allow Barkas to get equal to it. So as we move into the 60th minute, hold on a minute. Did I did I miss something? Did I fall asleep? And because we're three nil up, did I fall asleep? Did I? <laughs> I think I must have missed something. I have to go back and watch the video myself. Uh, Guerrero inside to Kowalski. A bangamang inside. No, didn't get anywhere. Jimenez now. Jimenez to Bellerin. Bellerin to Thomas. Thomas to Pepe. Pepe now. Got it through to Edward. Edward out to Bellerin. Bellerin inside to Thomas. Thomas. Ooh. Double shots and saved. Blocked and saved. And Pepe with the corner now. Long corner, but it's right under the crossbar. And Barkas is equal to that. Bellerin here to Thomas. There's the block. There's a shot and the save as it comes through to Pepe. And it looks like Astana have equalised against... They have. 66 minutes gone. They've equalised against Atletico de Madrid. And Atletico Madrid are, at the moment, have only one point. It's this goal here that I don't remember seeing. Penalty after 17. Bang, bang, after 27. I don't remember seeing this goal. Did I fall asleep? Please. I really don't remember that. I don't remember a bang, bang getting his hat trick. I'm tempted to click on there and see if I can see the goal, but I don't want to mess anything up. So we'll stick with it, but we will come back and just... <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. How did I miss it? I'm going to go back and have a little video because I'm not convinced that I actually saw it. Christie with the corner in, headed clear by Jimenez. Confirmation of the equalising goal from Astana. Pepe now has won the ball back. He's on the run. He's getting caught up there with Edouard and as a consequence really had lost it and Berda has been sent off for a second yellow but realistically, that was a mix-up. Uh, Edouard got in uh, in the way, and um, sort of like they were going to win the ball back, and uh, yeah, fouled him in in doing so. So they are down to ten men. Bellerin now through to Pepe, Pepe back to Bellerin, Bellerin inside to Thomas, Thomas across to Guerrero, is looking for Tierney on the overlap. Tierney back to Guerrero and Kowalski, who gets a save out of Barkas again, and they get away with that one and as you'll see 24 shots 15 of which have been on target we've got a uh, an xg of 3.4 kowalski is 
he's really run out now and actually I should have done changes before now um, so let's go in and do some changes bad boy Mark bad boy right Karlovsky can be replaced by Smith Rowe he's done a good job as Karlovsky um, who else is tired a bangamang can be replaced by let's replace him with Nelson we always replace him with Saka let's give Nelson a bit of a run out and I think that's a player of the match performance from a banger man we're going to make all three changes here and Maitland Niles is going to come on for Thomas and they are our changes and I think what we'll also do in a moment when we get the opportunity is we will actually drop a drop of pace down here we can get that open uh, let's praise the whole team just to give them a bit of a G up and Bellerin to Maitland Niles Maitland Niles back to Jimenez Jimenez gets it forward to Pepe Pepe And he's trying to rattle his way through. Nelson, Maitland Niles. Oh, and it's blocked Tierney to Nelson. Nelson puts it over the bar. No, he didn't. He was on target. It was Barkas who tipped it over. Pepe with a cross in again under the bar. Barkas is equal to that. That's twice Pepe's done that now. Here we go. That was a bit of a ricocheting going on there. Maitland Niles looking for Tierney, but didn't know it but it, uh, in clearance it was ricocheted and came back to Tierney who uh, knocked it inside to Nelson Nelson with the shot which was pushed over the bar Bellerin now on the overlap he's had a fantastic game as Bellerin out on that thing Smith Rowe now Smith Rowe to Nelson Nelson fresh legs he's looking for I'm not sure he was looking for Bellerin and Bellerin hadn't gone in that on that occasion he's gone inside to Pepe now Pepe out by the corner flag, back to Bellerin. Bellerin inside to Maitland Niles. Maitland Niles looking for Smith Rowe in the penalty area. Edward tucks it away. 4 0. And these goals could make all the difference when it comes down to who's going to finish first or second. Bellerin inside to Maitland Niles. Maitland Niles to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe to Edward. And Edward with bags of space. He scores against his old side and he's happy. Stana still holding Atletico Madrid. Eduard has the opportunity for a second. Barkas clears it. Sorry, Barkas saves it and it's cleared. And away we go. So into injury time. Lots of tired people here. Throw in from Tierney to Guerrero. Who lost the ball, but Tierney picks it up. Smith Rowe, cross field to Bellerin. Bellerin to Pepe. Pepe back to Bellerin, crosses it in. Smith Rowe back out. And this time it was blocked, but Bellerin picks up the loose ball and it's game over. Good win. And an XG of 4.11 against a 0 0.09. So they really had two shots none of which were on target didn't trouble us in the slightest and um, yeah all in all not a good day at the office let's have a look at this goal uh, I'm not sure it's going to allow us we might have to have a look at it in a minute anyway um, outstretched arms very pleased with the result and the performance well done lads uh, such positive result must have gone down well with you uh, will the players be getting a day off a result deserve a reward and that's definitely a way to provide one uh, to say that a particular result was on the cards would be an exaggeration just how pleased are you with outcome it's good feeling when everything comes together culminates in results like today yep and that's pretty much where it is. So the table looks like this after our first round of games. Arsenal uh, top with three points. Atletico Madrid are joint second with Astana. Um, a goal apiece there and one point. 
Uh, Celtic are on the bottom, obviously, with no points, um, but only one game played. So uh, still a bit to do. Um, right, let's quickly go back in, because I am convinced that I was sleeping for the goal, the third goal from a bangamang, and I must have missed it or been talking and completely missed it. I can't believe that that's what I did. All right, is it going to allow me to do it? A bangamang. Here we go. All right, it will do it in a moment. It's me just being. Not going to do it. Okay. Do we need to do this? Bang man, that's the penalty. And then this one was his second one was Kowalski's shot across and a perfect header. Pepe, Bellerin, Maitland Niles, Maitland Niles to Smith Rowe to Edward. Like I said, something happened there. Because there was no goal, third goal, from a bang mang. I hadn't dreamt it. I hadn't fallen asleep. <laughs> Something very weird happened there. And I think we need to send that through possibly to, uh, to SI. Very, very weird. At least it was in our favour. That could have been very ghouling if we didn't see that. And, um, yeah which is why when I was clicking on it, it wasn't, and nothing was happening because it didn't actually register um, in the game either that, um, that, <laughs> that that had been scored. A 4-0 win with a, goal, with a um, ghost goal, shall we call it. The ghost goal. Um, okay, so uh, high time that we move on to uh, the Premier League now and a game against Crystal Palace. And here we are with the team that we have selected for the game against Crystal Palace. Uh, Donnarama in goal. Tierney, Gabriel, Jimenez and Bellerin are in defence. Pretty much the same as the defence against Celtic. Guerrero continues in that Mazzala role uh, with, alongside Partey. And then a Bangamang. Kowalski and Willen taking over from Pepe on the right side of the attacking midfield. And then Eduard is up front uh, on the bench we have leno louis philippe smith row pepe maitland niles elney and la cassette and through to the next screen we go and I have noted that um Manchester City, who are top of the table, um, aren't actually playing today, and they don't appear to be playing uh, tomorrow. Um, so it does mean, albeit they will have a game in hand, if we win this game, we will actually um, go top of the table um, after this game, because Manchester United have drawn with Chelsea, um, which puts Chelsea third as it currently stands. Um, Right, pump fists. Um, outstretched arms. I want you to pick up where you left off last time. Yep, I think that'll do. Uh, preparation is everything in football these days. And you may feel you know what to expect from Chris Palace. Can you see them employing any tactical surprises? They're a team that always has potential to mix it up. Uh, you come into this one on good form whilst your opponents do not. Do you perhaps fear complacency ahead of kickoff? It's a different sort of challenge for us today. We have to be focused on playing our game and being clinical in front of goal. I think that's pretty much uh, a fair assumption of the uh, the thing. And Eduard kicks off. Guerrero back to Gabriel. Gabriel to Jimenez. Kolzowski to Bellerin. Bellerin to Willen. Willen, who's just signed a new contract, which will keep him with us really pretty much to the end of his career now, uh, worth £24 million. 
and that goes out, but uh, nothing good doing with that. Tierney to Kowalski, Kowalski to Abangamang, to Edward, Edward out to Tierney on the overlap. A long driven cross, and the goalkeeper saved that, and he saves at the second attempt as well. And uh, yeah, it's all not looking too clever, is it? A bangamang to Edward. This is the uh, clear cut chance just to see this again. Tierney. And Thomas headed it down right into the path of Willem, but Willem couldn't really get his shot away as it turned out on this occasion. Crystal Palace with the throw into the penalty area, but it's uh, cleared, but only as far as Dracour. Sacco. And they are holding possession at the minute. Gabriel headed it down to Guerrero to Abangamang. Abangamang now back to Jimenez. Jimenez to Gabriel Kolovsky. Kolovsky on a bit of a run and he's tackled, but no penalty given there. Oh, Thomas fires that one over. Or was it saved? It looks like it was saved in a corner. Guerrero with the corner. Long one looking for Edward, I think it was. And it's headed out for a throw. The uh, defender getting there. This is going to go down as a clear-cut chance. Kowalski tripped, but uh, fairly well. Looks a bit Kowalski. And there you go, Thomas with the strike. But uh, in hurrying, pushes it over the bar. Only 10 minutes gone. Bellerin now into Kowalski. Back to Bellerin. Bellerin to Thomas. Thomas with a shot across looking for a bangamang. Defenders defending well. Stopped him from doing it. Flick back to Guerrero. And this time Kowalski heads it straight at the goalkeeper. Leicester one up against Brighton. Tierney here. Flicked back to Guerrero. Who... Kowalski with the header straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. We are top as it currently stands. Jimenez. Jimenez now with a long ball forward to Kowalski who heads it down to Bellerin. Bellerin on a run on the outside now. Flicks it back to Willen who was just inside the penalty area. Kowalski to Thomas. Back to Kowalski. And I think that was saved by the goalkeeper. Their goalkeeper having a splendid game. How long can he keep it up for, though? This is the question. Guerrero. Oh, and head over the top this time by a bangamang. No, it's another corner. He saved that one as well. Goodness me. Guerrero. Headed back out to him. And Thomas this time. What a lovely header that was. Right into the corner. Perfect. And we do eventually, it seems like a long time, but we're only quarter, uh, 14 minutes into the game. Um, headed out, back out to Guerrero, who drilled that just about head level. And Thomas didn't have to really get to, too much above it, just drilled it into the corner. We have another corner now, Guerrero in again, a bangamang again heads it over. And a good sign in there, Guerrero, I think. Oh, and they have caught us on the hop and equalised. Well, that really did catch us by surprise. The long ball over the top. And they've made us pay for it. Donorama beaten which isn't usual for him um, but obviously caught everybody by surprise there and a short-lived lead and we may go behind here no Donorama on this occasion is equal to it goes down as a clear-cut chance Mil Mil Milukovic was the attacker there And Gabriel is injured, which is bad news. What is the injury? Potential foot injury. Yikes. Right. Uh, Luis Philippe comes on for him. 
after just 35 minutes. That's not good news. I did click on confirm, didn't I? Yeah, maybe I didn't. I have now. Bellerin with the throw in, and it's cut out but picked back up. Kolovsky to Edward. Edward with a block shot, and that goes out for a throw in. It's come off a Arsenal player, I think. Goes down as a clear cut chance, and Kolovsky, Edward, Edward with a block shot, and again, I think having to sort his feet out. So Donnarumma to Jimenez, Jimenez out to Guerrero, to Kolsky, Kolsky gone on a bit of a run into the penalty area. He's tackled again and won fairly. Tierney with a headed ball back inside, but to nobody and puts us under pressure again. They seem to have come back in with a vengeance, but Thomas has won that ball back in midfield. Willen now, he's tackled. Guerrero picks it up, though, to a bangamang. A bangamang inside to Willen, and Willen slots that one. His fourth goal of the season, and celebrates not only the goal, but signing a new contract. And Willen, starting this ball off, was tackled, but Guerrero picking up the loose ball. Like I said, what a signing he is. Willen, with bags of room and plenty of time, tucks that one away. 2-1. We are in the lead. Need to score at least two more now just to make this really comfortable. Ball over the top again. And that's in, but Donnarama had that all the way this time. Rolls it out to Jimenez. Jimenez to Bellerin. Bellerin back to Jimenez. Jimenez inside to Ramos. Or Luis Philippe. And playing it around in defence here. This could go badly wrong if we're not careful. Don Rama gets rid of it now to Guerrero. And the ball over the top. He's in again. Oh, missed it this time. Um... Donnarumma didn't seem to move, so I'm guessing he had that covered. We'll say that he had it covered. And the shot just wide. I'm not sure if he caught Donnarumma cold or quite what was happening there. And half time comes. And apart from the forced switch for Gabriel, who is injured. The goal on 43 minutes from Willen has put us in front. So, pump fists. We are going to say things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Um, or do we go? Let's go that route. That's the one. Okay. Um, And so, as it currently stands, we are three points clear of Manchester City. Uh, they do will have that game in hand there, as you'll see. How are Everton doing? Because Everton are down here in fifth. But, and they're not playing. So Liverpool and Everton both not playing as it currently stands. Um, Chelsea have played and they only managed a draw as I say against Manchester United that is a result nil nil um, Newcastle and Liverpool will play later so Liverpool are there but even if they win they're not going to catch us as it currently stands um, so that's how that looks and Ramos to Tierney, Tierney to Kolowski, Kolowski comes inside now, he's going to found a bangamang, bangamang holds the ball up, Thomas 
back to a banger man who flicks it to Guerrero, who's looking for Tom uh, for a banger man, but he really wasn't hard enough. I think a banger man wanted to run onto that. Kowalski to a banger man, and he's found the corner of the net. 3 1 now, and we have a little bit of daylight. Eighth goal of the season for a banger man, and a nice tidy finish. Weaving our way through the defence and with 48 minutes gone we have that cushion and obviously the more goals we can get here the better that goal difference is the more Manchester City have to do. Guerrero to Kowalski, Kowalski to Willen, looking for, I'm not sure who he was looking for, but didn't find him, Bello goes back to Bellerin, Guerrero, and he's found Tierney, Tierney now with the cross in, but it's blocked, ooh, Kowalski, and a banger man gets the save out of the goalkeeper, and gives away the corner, Guerrero, with the long ball in, looking for Edouard, Edward not getting his head to it, but Kowalski flicks it back to Thomas. Back to Kowalski. Cross it in for a banger man. And not one of his firm headers, but this is going down as a clear cut chance. Tierney, look. Gets across. Blocked cross. Guerrero there. Kowalski has the first shot, which is blocked. And then a banger man pulls the save out of the goalkeeper. Donnarama to Jimenez now. Jimenez finds Bellerin. Bellerin to Kowalski. We are playing lovely football. I have to say Kowalski inside to Thomas who finds Willen. Willen flicks it back to Thomas to Bellerin. Bellerin gets the corner. Tierney with the corner on this side. Tierney with a long ball. Again looking for Edouard. Didn't find him. They have won the ball though in midfield. But it's lost to Tierney. Kowalski to Willen. Willen with the block shot. First time. But the defender body in the way. And it comes all the way back to Jimenez and Bellerin. To Guerrero. Guerrero to Edward. And Edward finds the net. His fourth goal of the season. And he follows up the goal against Celtic. Lovely worked ball this. Guerrero look. And through to Edward. Edward, a couple of steps and bang. And I actually hit that, I think, on his left foot. Question of offside here. He's just on. And he did actually hit that with his left foot, which is uh, usual because he usually steps over and tries all sorts of muddle for duddles. Um, as we've seen him do in recent uh, games. 4-1 then, uh, three goal advantage, which means that the goal difference is two to Manchester City. A couple more goals, or at least another one, would make things interesting. It means Manchester City have got to win by three clear goals in order to, even if they win, get back on top. Tierney now, I think that was blocked. It seems to go very wayward. Bellerin to Jimenez. Jimenez, a long ball forward, finds Edouard. Edouard to Guerrero. Guerrero to a banger man, a banger man, to Guerrero. So it's ended up with back with a banger man. Oof. And Kowalski. His first goal of the season, and what a goal that was. Wait to see that again. Fantastic goal. Here it is Guerrero, a banger man. Guerrero to Kowalski to a banger man. Banger man just holds it. And Guerrero, bang! I think it might have got a little bit of deflection on the way through, but wow. So, two signings that we've brought in have, um, have actually played fantastically so far. Guerrero is absolutely a find. And playing in that midfield role, um, I know we brought him on really to, um, to, to replace, but to be fair, he's fantastic in that midfield. And with 70 minutes gone, it's high time that we make some changes. So, say Kowalski and 
and Bang and Mang both having fantastic games, as is Guerrero. I mean, to be fair, that is some some performance in that position. I'm not sure who to take off on the basis that not really anybody. I'm, I'm inclined to leave it for the minute until we get some tired legs because realistically at the minute um, Willen's probably come back from injury so do we take Willen off there's not an immediate obvious choice there bang a -mang. we'll bring Smith Rowe on for a bang a -mang. we'll do that now and then we'll uh, wait for one more um, for our final change they have a throw in and are on attack and that's gone wide Liam Delap has been substituted. Karolski with the ball now. And he's been tackled. And they have a counter attack. Delap on the attack. And Donorama just stood in front of him. You're not coming through this way, laddie. And that's what we paid all the money for Donorama for. And he's done the job. Fantastic. Kolski now is tired. And he wants to be replaced. He is replaced by Thomas. Hang on a minute. It should be interesting to see who replaces him. Elney, sorry. Elney has come on in place of uh, Kowalski. And Delap again with the shot, but Dorama equal to it. Need to retain this lead. Elney now with the ball, taken over from Guerrero. Sorry, not Guerrero, from Kowalski. Thomas Willen saved. Four goal cushion here, which means that Manchester City have to win by three clear goals in their game whenever they play the spare game. Edward, and that's cut out looking for Willen, I think it was. As Crystal Palace come on, the thing is, ah, well, that was always going wide, I think, but uh, no, Don Rama saved it. So they have a corner, 85 minutes gone. And the ball in is headed clear. And lovely tackle there by Luis Philippe. And this is going to go down as a clear cut chance. Shap in for Zahar and Zahar. That one rattles wide. Bellerin with the throw in now, long throw into the penalty area. Willen heads it backwards, um, but uh, gear to the goalkeeper equal to it. Luis Philippe, Smith Rowe, Elney, back to Jimenez. Jimenez picks up a yellow card now by the looks of it. Elney to Ramos, Ramos to Guerra, Ramos to Tierney. Tierney now, four ball for Smith Rowe, and it's a goal kick. Smith Rowe didn't uh, really try or attempt to get that cross in. Game over and a good win. A comfortable win. That's all you can say about that, really. And outstretched arms. Very happy in the way that you played. Well done. 
Uh, Kowalski's goal, a well struck effort in the top corner from 26 minutes was one of the highlights of the match. Wouldn't you agree? It was a goal out of the very top draw. It was indeed. I think we uh, identified that at the time and it uh, goes without saying. So there we are. We finish the episode. Top of the table. Uh, a goal difference of 15. That's three clear goals over Manchester City at the moment. Uh, though they do have a game in hand. Uh, Chelsea in third on 13 points uh, with just a goal difference of six. Uh, Liverpool still have to play and they could be one point behind us. Um, but they have a slight, but very similar goal difference as it currently stands. Uh, I think Liverpool are playing Newcastle. So we should get that result uh, before the end of the episode. Um, we'll have a look in a minute. Uh, Arsenal go top. Strike from Partey helped send Arsenal to the top of the table. And three to four weeks for Gabriel with that foot injury. We're going to leave to the physios. Nothing else. Guerrero on form. And yes, he had absolute fantastic game. Handshake, you were superb with a number. Really, really good game for him. And... I'll leave the assistant to do the post-match on this occasion. Really after seeing the Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool have actually lost. Now that is a huge result. That is absolutely huge in the scheme of things from our point of view as it currently stands. As you'll see now, apart from Manchester City... Let's have a look and see what their next game is. Schedule. Uh, senior squad. Not quite sure. They're going to have to pick up an extra league game somewhere. I'm not sure where. But um, anyway, for the time being, um, it leaves us in front and... All we need to do is capitalise on this. Leeds still not won, uh, lost a game. They've drawn three and won three on 12 points. But that is huge. Absolutely huge. 2-0 loss to Newcastle for Liverpool. And uh, that is uh, four points clear of them. So really it's only Manchester City we're watching at the moment. And if Manchester City win with both of us, the three points clear of Chelsea in third. And it's all to play for as we move on. Um, through this so uh, let's have a quick look and see where we're going to be coming back next a fantastic episode I'm sure you've enjoyed a long episode at that 53 minutes we're currently um, a bit less than that with uh, an edit no doubt um, let's have a quick look where we're going to come back um, blah, 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 dee, doo, doo. yes we're coming back for the Atletico Madrid game um, and Manchester City I think that will be a six-pointer. What an episode that is going to be. Um, probably um, after we've played the Astana, that could be the decider whether we actually get uh, through to the knock first knockout round. That could be the decider. And then um, a huge game, um, potentially, in the league against Manchester City. What an episode. Episode 18. Watch that one coming down the line. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't, I'm not quite sure what we can do to make you enjoy an episode, but please look out for episode 18. It is going to be a classic in this series. If you have, uh, then don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with all the future episodes and also any new series that are released as we go along. Uh, new episodes for this particular series are currently released every Tuesday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And why not follow me on Twitter at Just Offside for... Sorry, Just Offside 2 for all the updates on this channel and more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Episode uh, 18. 18? 17, I think. I'm lost where we are. I think it's episode 17, actually. It'll be out on Thursday. And it will feature Atletico Madrid and Manchester City. Bye for now.